I thought it's a symbol. I thought it's a symbol. I just sit in my go car and then you sit around. Yeah, but then they make it so <laughs> so important. Yeah, I don't care about the chair. You know that. Sometimes I just stand on top of those, uh, you know, boxes. And talk to people. Sometimes I just sit on my go car. Sometimes I just standing. It's not about the chair. This is not my chair. <laughs> if I'm dead, then it belongs to somebody else, or I just sit in the museum, do nothing. Yeah, it's just that you want to see me, understand? And I want to give you as much as possible blessing that you can assimilate. If it's mixed with somebody else, it might not be so favorable. Understand now? We have so many old people. I can never ask them all to sit on my seat. The seat is only two seats or three seats. And it is for you to see me. The, the reason I sit on high so that even the people from behind can see me and get the blessing if I have any. Understand? It's not like the seat here is because I'm the master, not because of my position. It is because of you. Yeah, and if they put it here because they want to put a cloth or beautiful cloth because they want to protect the chair, <laughs> so they can, it lasts longer, so we don't have to buy a new one. Or maybe the chair is so old and ugly, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what we do. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I do in my, my my private area because I don't always have beautiful chair or a table available. So if some guests come, I quickly just throw a piece of cloth on it to make it look festive, welcoming and beautiful, even though underneath is all scratched and broken. Yeah, because I use uh, sometimes in my life, I don't always have a chance to decorate my house. I don't have that luxury anymore. I used to have that, and I love decorating my house, making homey, and all that. All that was a long time ago. And now I just bring those like foldable, <laughs> you know, somewhere from a supermarket. You buy it ten dollars or something, and they are not like good quality, of course. Yeah, it's meant for picnic or temporary use. Therefore. The, it, it peel off easily and broken here and there. Or the, the pain that fall off you know, from the chair. Anything, of course, because we harassed it too much. You know, we fold it quick and throw it in the, uh, the truck and then just run, you know, with every el everything else on top of it. Of course, the poor table <laughs> and the poor chair <laughs> cannot always endure this kind of treatment. And then it went, you know, broken, kaput. Sometimes I have to use uh, duct tape <laughs> <laughs> to fix <laughs> the peeling um, skin from on top of the table. Otherwise, the cloth don't come down. You know, just the cloth go up on one side <laughs> because the skin is peeling off and, you know, curled up. Or my coffee cup will... Top side, huh? If I put on that, whatever, yeah, you know that. We don't have any building here. I have told people if it's cold, don't come. <laughs> it's rain, don't come. But do they listen to me? No? Huh? No. Is it cold today? Yes or no? Yeah. yeah. And they still come. Thousands strong. What am I to do? Then I always try to do as much <laughs> as I can, as one person can. You think I have a lot of helpers, it's not like that, it's not true. Even today I have to normally, uh, somebody drive me to see you, yeah? Today I, I have to let the driver stay and take care of my office, because it had not been taken care of for 10 days. <laughs> I did it on myself, it's just that 
not the big cleaning, you know. Every day I did something, but not the big cleaning. And also I'm very busy. Mostly I work until four or five o'clock in the morning, take a quick meditation or whatever, and then have to continue working again, you know, inside, inside work and outside work. Because of inside work, I'm more busy. If I don't have SMTV, that's already better, you know, for many years. For some years, yeah, after SMTV, I stop and I have more relaxing time. Not like relaxing, you know, for cooking for myself, taking care of my personal things, have more quality times with dogs, for example, like that. That is called relaxing time. <laughs> Right now, it's a better just season me and brown rice, because then nobody has to bring it up for me and bring it down. If I tell them, that's not right, that's not right, it hurts their ego, and then we have a problem. See what I mean? So, might as well just rely on myself, do what's the most simple. So, it's not like, uh, it's not like I have a lot of time, okay? Mm. Uh, even before, when I put some makeup on, I do it more detail. Now I just quick. <laughs> I have a different technique, <laughs> a quickie technique. I'm not telling you because you don't need it. <laughs> you have a lot of times. I also show you before how to do makeup already, right? Yeah, in one of the videos. It's also simple. Mm. I just that if I have to do, you know, like like you do for SMTV, some people have really professional makeup. Oh, that takes a long time. At least 40 minutes for some of the, the makeup that I saw on SMTV. I'm very pleased. Yeah, be beautiful, okay, for the audience, so that they might be more uh, attracted to look at you. Mm. Do you have any question for me? If yes, okay. Then you raise your hand. If no, I go. <laughs> Make sure it's a good question. Dear Master, thank you very much for all the invisible work you have done to help all the disciples, especially for me. For uh, you? And everyone. Okay. I think everyone has very touching story about their own life of improvement, progress of their spiritual practice. Oh. I have experienced many, many times when a so-called test come, mm. and I failed most of them. And I know Master has done everything, you know, that I cannot achieve myself, so I know how much, how humble our Master is, and Master done everything just for the benefit of everybody, not for herself. Um, from my experience, Master take anything that nobody want, Master always take, if any one person want the thing master will give it to the person. Only the one master understand nobody want. For example, the karma nobody want, master take it. The person nobody want, master keep them. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> I've okay. tried so uh, many times. I have so 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 many experiences I know uh, okay. how great master is. So you know that personally. It's good. Right. Thank you, Master. Good, you're welcome. Okay, good. Question? There's one over here. Um, Master, two or uh, three years ago, you mentioned that uh, this is the grace period. And uh, I wonder if you can explain what that means and what's going to happen after the grace period is over. I said that three years ago, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you think it's still there? <laughs> It is a grace period, otherwise you wouldn't have been here. You couldn't be here. Many continents will be uh, 
uh, how do you say, submerged, okay? The humankind, most of them would have been destroyed, animals included. And the content on the, the planet would have started all over again, like in the, in the Ice Age, after Ice Age time, okay? It is through the grace that not all the glaciers has been melted, even though the, the weather is so hot. And it's through the grace that we still have enough time to recover. Hmm? And that through the grace that we are still here, the humans, that we can have time to adjust, to quickly amend for what we have done, and uh, possibly restore the order on uh, for life on this planet to continue. Okay, you see many good news nowadays. Even the big, great, grand China has order. You know, laboratory meat. I mean, no meat, meat instead. You see, and now you know how many people in China. And the Chinese government, the most powerful, they can tell their people what to do, and their people will listen more than any other countries on the planet. Do you understand what I'm saying? I have very big faith in Chinese government, in their power, in their influence on their citizens. And if Chinese blaze the trail, on vegetarianism, then we will have hope, okay? We have more hope, a lot more hope to save this earth for our next generation so that they live in health, happiness, and possibly spirituality, okay? So that is grace, yeah? yeah. As you don't know the news, Chinese government signed uh, to make uh, to to make a new kind of uh, protein. Yeah, it looks like meat. It probably tastes like meat, but and it's very healthy. More healthy than meat. Much more healthy, cheaper. <laughs> but need a little more time. Okay, China is huge. Even to make such a meat takes some time, okay? So, but at least the, the trend is going towards this direction. And I'm sure the Chinese government, with the support and uh, cooperation with the whole Chinese people, they will lead the world into a new era. Hmm? I believe that. A Chinese president, when he first accepted his assignment that people entrusted to him to be the second time, you know, to be a president second time again, he said, this is a new era for China. But I believe it's also a new era for the world. <laughs> if Chinese people make these giant steps, you know, they will be leaders. I mean, true leaders of humankind. And I will be forever grateful in the names of our inhabitants <laughs> on this planet. <laughs> Any more questions, love? Yes, dear Master, I'd like to share something. It's um, regarding the, the vegan things. Mm. It's so popular in U.S. U.S. Yeah, yeah U.S. Uh -huh. Because um, not only the vegan food is so popular, and uh, like uh, I think it's a Beyond Burger, it's uh, become so popular. Beyond Burger. Beyond Burger is vegan burger. Uh, Beyond yeah, Burger. Beyond Burger. I thought you say yeah. yum yum. Yeah, burger. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and they say, and that burger is uh, developed. Uh, they was told that it's developed by the invest by Bill Gates. 
Ah. Oh, because they they want they they foresee the yes. the shortage of food in the future. Mm -hmm. So they want people to cut down the meat. Yes. So they spend the millions of dollars and then years of time to develop the the burger patty tastes like a real one. Yes. And much more nutrition. Of course. And then it is in the short period of time it becomes so overwhelming. Not only the vegan restaurant want to use it, mm -hmm. almost every single burger menu they will put there. We have a vegan burger here. Ah. Try vegan burger. Wonderful. Yeah. And wow. then that's one thing. And not only the food wise, and then the, uh, we have a more like a vegan bag, backpack, uh -huh. and vegan shoes. Ah. Okay. And like, then like this one? one? Yes, yes. <laughs> a lot of. <laughs> yeah. Pretty, no? Yeah. All vegan. <laughs> and, and then the even vegan shoes, the proof is more durable than the leather, and mm. then re and la much much less the environment damage. Yes. yes. Yeah. So it's a suddenly like a, you know the Bronson, everywhere everybody can show. Hey, I have a bag here. I have a shoes here. You don't have to sacrifice anymore. No. Yeah. And then you, why you need to sacrifice the the other things of life, and then do this, and then it's much better for not only us, yeah, but yeah, next generation. Yeah. My, my shoes, beautiful. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Look at that, <laughs> matching even. Mm. Ah, matching. <laughs> and cheaper, very cheap. Mm? Yeah. And right now, there's a one percent made uh, by cloth. Yeah, yeah, one percent. Uh, one percent of total population in United States, they are the vegan. No, <laughs> so I'm sorry, more, it's more only three point seven. But the, a lot of organ organization, okay, they do they do a lot of things. They they wear the uh, costume of the animal, mm. and they go to the very far away to give away the recipe. Mm. And one one time I talked to the founder because I'm the member of them, and uh -huh. always, we all we sometimes we email each other. Yeah, and sometimes they have the party I joined them and they told me say hey, you know we went to the Alabama and f three years ago when we talked to vegetarian they say huh mm. and now after three years we, we keep doing that giveaway and Come then back, yeah. yeah and then can you imagine they the 250 pound big guy and wear the custard under the hundred degree and give away the fryer uh -huh. they try vegan <laughs> recipe and then after that he say I'm dehydrated and <laughs> I need to call 911. <laughs> and now everybody know vegan. What is a vegan? If you ask that small town, he said, like, you know what is a vegan? He said, like, oh yeah, that big guy gave me the recipe. I still have some in my own. Mm -hmm. And then I know what is a vegan now. Uh -huh. I will try that. I mean, he can mm -hmm. grow as big as him. That's right. Even with vegan. Yeah, they try, they try, <laughs> okay. I think. So Good I think example. Just find some more big guy and go <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. to the yeah. vegan flyer, yeah. huh? <laughs> I really believe this is because of Master Yu Ivera at everybody's spiritual. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you Thank for you your hard work. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Yes. yes, because some people think that eating vegan makes you skinny and small like me, you know. But I'm a woman, yeah? Men like small girls, right? Yeah, so it doesn't matter. If the girl is okay with men, you find a tough one, you know, work out a lot, tattoo, whatever, and they go, <laughs> <laughs> go, uh, how you say, distribute the flyer, huh? No, I'm just joking, doesn't matter, yeah. Some people like to be big and tough, some people don't care, yes. So do what you do, what you can. And uh, when the time comes, they think about it, even though they don't accept right away, but they'll think about it. And one day something triggered these memories, and they became vegan also. Yeah, whatever, okay. But for you, you're safe because you're vegan, right? Yeah, you're good. But be careful, don't eat too much oily stuff, huh? Not because vegan, and then you can indulge yourself in too many things that are unhealthy, okay? Everything moderate is good. Huh? Mm. And don't don't eat brown rice sesame only just because I do it. <laughs> you always copy. You do what you want. You're free, okay? Uh, just like when I was in Hungary, I just wear simple, you know, to go around. And then you all, all everybody I saw, you know, after that a period of time, everybody wear exactly the same. <laughs> you know, straight one rope close. Listen to that. You do what you want, okay? 
That's why the world has variety, and it's very interesting. Yeah, if everybody look like everybody else, then it seems like a dictative kind of society, no? Okay, and people might think that I order you to do that. No, no. I design a lot of different clothes for you to look pretty and different. Yeah, be proud that you are different. Except you don't do anything harmful to anyone else, then it's okay. Hmm? I have uh, some uh, jewelry they prepare for me, but I didn't even have time to put it on. <laughs> Just but you do, okay? You put on whatever you like. It's not necessarily my jewelry. Yeah, you be pretty. Yeah, you be good. But I envy the boys because they don't have to do anything. They don't wear anything. They don't even make up, high heel, nothing. All the girls always go around, you know, trying to woo them. <laughs> woo them. That's why they call women. <laughs> women. <laughs> because they go around wooing men. <laughs> men. All right. Any more question? It's cold today, huh? I wish you don't come here. In such a cold weather. Hello, Master. Yeah. Hello. I was the one last week um, talked to Master about someone called me to do someone used Master's name called me to do the Master's project. Good. And the Master asked me who called me. I was so nervous that I did not answer Master's question. Oh. Uh, I have their names with me. You don't May have to. It's okay. It's okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's it's past already. If that person doesn't do anything wrong, then it's okay. Okay. Thank you, Master. No, you're welcome. Okay. Mm. Uh, I mostly do not want to know what you guys are doing <laughs> behind my back <laughs> or against the principle. It's just that sometimes I have to know for some reason, okay? Because of, in, in Vietnam we say one little worm spoils the whole apple now, okay? It's like that. If you want to stay in uh, our group, then you have to do what is right and just and correct, okay, according to your conscience and the precepts, so that you can uh, climb higher spiritually also. Hmm? Yeah. But whatever you did without knowing and or being, uh, say, deluded or leading on to do it, then it's okay. Just... Uh, don't do it again. Forgive yourself. All right? Yeah. Good. Anything else? Hello, Master. Hello. I see you first time. You're so beautiful. Yo. Now? Yeah. No. Mm-hmm. You <laughs> on. Thank you. No, no. On real life, then on picture. So beautiful. Thank you. On TV, this, they do touch up. You know that? Now they have magic. <laughs> magic. Whoa. <laughs> Master, in Mongolia now, so many doctors are interested in vegan, vegan food. Yes. And my two friends now open a vegan sanitary hospital. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Where? In Ulaanbaatar? In Ulaanbaatar, yeah. Wow. Not far from Just Ulaanbaatar, yeah. yeah. What? Not far from Ulaanbaatar, no, f- ten kilometer. A ten away? Yeah. Oh, it's not, not far. Yeah. Not in far. forest place. Wow. In winter time in Ulaanbaatar, uh, we did it so dirty, smoking, very smoking. This very bad influence to heal people. In that time, this sanitary open is very imp- important for Mongolians. Of course it is. Yeah. Of course it is. Yeah. yeah. Wonderful. I'm glad. <laughs> thank uh, thank all the Mongolians. Also in Ulaanbaatar, a few big hospitals. One of them, short hospitals director, asked us to open vegan food cooking center in the hospital. Also. Oh, yeah. wonderful. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You guys are doing a good job in Mongolia. <laughs> thank you, huh? Thank you, the Mongolian. Yes. Try to spread more of the SMTV in Mongolia through your own or whatever, okay? Through your own uh, website or anybody should do that, yeah? Inside your country, you should also let people know that we are on air, okay? Right. Every country should do that, yes. Mm. Anything else? Minister of Mongolia, 
very loves you and he bought this ring and master's clothes. Also, I'm planning na now to buy to him special books. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Give him one extra. Hmm? Yeah. Something. <laughs> DVD or something, yeah. okay? Yeah. yeah. Give him one extra, huh? Yes. Uh, silent tea or something like that, okay? Yeah. Not, not charging. Hmm? Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Okay. Okay, thank you. Next one. Mongolia, they don't have a lot of people, but they're so strong. So strong. Thank you, Master. Uh, first of all, I have to express, express my uh, gratitude, and I feel so lucky that I met the uh, greatest of the greatest God of the whole universe in the entire Ian. And then um, I, w I want to express uh, my feelings about ve vegetarian food around me, myself, in a working place. When I introduce the ve uh, vegetarian food to them, uh, although the co-workers of mine, they don't know uh, w what is, or uh, they don't accept it immediately, mm. but they all say that they have relatives or they have somebody they know. Mm, they, are they, are, they are vegetarian. Uh -huh. And I had a party seven, uh, several days ago for my son's birthday, and uh, uh, after, uh, after they eat and I introduce them, those are all vegetarian food, and mm. they don't tell the difference. Mm. And then uh, some of the children uh, t told me that uh, they have relatives also vegan. Mm. So uh, I think that, um, and last year in the subway, I saw the adv advertisement about from the pizza uh, mm. about the no buying, no hurting mm. advertisement in the subway, the subway station. So I feel um, the atmosphere in China of the animal protection mm -hmm. and uh, uh, ve vegetarian food yeah. are rising. The animals oh. are rising. In China? In China. In China, in Beijing, in Beijing. Peter can do that? Peter, yes, yes. And wow. last year, last year's thing. Wonderful. I, I feel so happy. Ah, wonderful. I'm happy too. Thank you, Master. Yes. I'm very happy and grateful to your government, the Chinese government. Yes. And I'm grateful to your president especially. He is a great man. <laughs> uh, anyone else? Uh, con xin kể cái thể nghiệm mà con cảm ơn uh, cái đất nước Đài Loan này dữ lắm sư phụ. <cười> lần đầu tiên mà con qua đó ừ. là, là hội Tết đó ừ. là con khi con ngồi thiền trên máy bay á thì uh, sư phụ uh, con thấy sư phụ uh, thì yeah. con thiền đó thì con thấy ừ. uh, sư phụ uh, một bên máy bay vậy nè mà sư phụ nghiêm lắm nhìn thẳng ra đằng trước để bảo vệ chứ máy bay vậy đó ừ. rồi khi mà con uh, máy bay mà tới mà cách uh, Đài Loan 200 km ừ. tự nhiên có cái ông phi công đó bữa đó ông nói vậy à quý vị đang ở cái hải lý là cách Đài Loan là 200 km thì tự nhiên tất cả các thiên thần ở Đài Loan chào mừng con ừ. rồi hả cây cối luôn không khí luôn ừ. họ chào mừng giống như là con tràn đầy hạnh hạnh phúc mà con cảm ơn cảm ơn tất cả luôn mà ừ. điều thứ nhất là cảm ơn sư phụ rất là nhiều cái chuyến bay đó nó giống như là con chẳng có đi gì hết trơn luôn đó ừ. chỉ là giống như là ngồi một chỗ thôi Ừ. nó êm không có một cái di động gì hết luôn không có một cái mà uh, chấn động nào hết giống những cái chuyến bay khác rất là êm đềm à, à, còn khi mà con xuống máy bay con cảm ơn phi công nhiều lắm nhưng thực chất là do sư phụ hết luôn yeah. Yeah. ok she said that she want to tell me the experience and feeling very grateful uh, about Taiwan yeah I, before um, she was on the airplane and she she saw master, you know, transformation body in front of the the airplane uh, with the very uh, solemn mean because she wants to protect the airplane and keep going in front of the airplane to lead to lead and to protect that airplane for her. And uh, when it come to about two hundred kilometers uh, before landing, and there were all the all the angels, he said, you know, the angels come to, to, to greet her already in the air. And uh, all the angels from Taiwan came to greet her. 
in the air already and exactly at that moment she, she knows it's a 200 kilometers from Taiwan and they told her and then the pilot also tell her at the same time you know announce that we are already 200 kilometers from uh, Taiwan for landing is that correct đúng không ừ, rồi ok next one please còn gì nữa không cân rồi còn nữa cái là con xin lỗi sư phụ nhiều lắm À, sao? trong quá khứ con đã là, có những cái sai lầm với sư phụ á, rồi xin sư phụ tha lỗi cho con tha rồi nếu không tha thì bà đâu có còn ngồi đấy <cười> <cười> cái máy bay bà đâu còn đấy <cười> con con sám hối sư phụ nhiều lắm không nhưng mà bây giờ gặp sư phụ thì con mong có một cái đó okay. xin lỗi sư phụ không có chi yeah. okay. với lại okay. khi mà con về việt nam đó sư phụ ừ. thì hả là là khi mà con ngủ thức dậy con thiền đơn đêm con ngủ thức dậy là con cứ tưởng mình ở Đài Loan không à? <cười> ok. Yeah, rồi ừ. khi mà con trị bệnh sư phụ cho con đặt con ở cái chỗ mà để mà phục vụ với ông tu á, ừ. trị bệnh đồng tu á, ừ. thì khi mà một cách đi một tháng mà con trở lại đây á, thì là con mới biết ra là con đã phục vụ cho những người này từ trước rồi. Kịp trước. Dạ. Yeah. Okay. Thành ra lại giờ là con tới nữa. Ừ. Dạ. Yeah. <cười> con không biết được như vậy. Yeah. Con ngốm ơn sư phụ nhiều lắm. Không có gì. Dạ. Yeah. Okay. Nó xin hết à. Good. She also, uh, she also want to apologize to me because in the, in the past, you know, in this lifetime, formerly she has things against me a lot, and she says she apologize a lot. <laughs> I say, okay, I forgive you a lot. Mm. <laughs> I say I did already. Otherwise, you wouldn't have been here. Uh, you couldn't be here, or oh, your airplane might might not even arrive in Taiwan either. <laughs> so that means uh, I already for, have forgiven you. But she said, "Yeah, but because she saw me now face to face, she would like to express that, you know, personally as well." I said, "Okay, no problem." Right, next one. Hello. Con muốn nói về cái mấy cái lực lượng của sư phụ thay thiết kế mấy trang sức thiên đường á. Con có thể nghiệm, uh, con uh, mới đặt đôi bông cái uh, cái bộ uh, uh, mùa xuân bất tận ấy dụ Xong cái con đặt dự đủ tiền rồi mà con đã nhận được lực lượng gia trị của món trang sức từ sư phụ rất là nhiều Tối đó con con thiện, cái con thấy ở trên bầu trời có nhiều thiên nhân, nhiều ánh sáng, à, nhiều, nhiều thiên nhân họ ca mua múa trên trời á Ánh sáng rất là đẹp, xong rồi có rồng vàng Rồng vàng xong rồi con thấy ô oh, rồng vàng Cái thế là rồng vàng hiện Ở trên bầu trời ở trên thiện đường này nè Rất là lớn Xong cái con thấy đó vui quá Con con mừng quá Rồi Con muốn nói Thêm một cái thể nghiệm về năm câu nữa Con vô cùng biết ơn sư phụ Đã cho con kiếp này được thọ pháp với sư phụ Và ban cho con năm câu và món quà Con vô cùng biết ơn sư phụ Ok. Dạ. Yeah. Bữa hôm con có ăn lỡ một cái gói mì chay nhưng mà không có ghi thùng chay á sư phụ. Xong cái con bị ngồi thiền, cái bị rớt xuống, cái con không biết là gói mì đó đó họ quảng cáo là chay nhưng mà không có tinh khiết hay là con bị tụt xuống dưới cái giới thấp. Và dạ, con con thấy giới con không thích cái con niệm năm câu. Dạ sư phụ con niệm tới đâu là mọi chúng sinh nó quỳ lại con tới đó. Xong cái con con hết hồn con nói ủa, mình dưới niệm năm câu xong ai cũng lại mình hết xây con niệm năm câu con nói thôi vậy con không cần niệm món quà nữa con chỉ niệm năm câu thôi con thoát ở chỗ đó xong con phải con thiền nghiền thiền lại quan âm hai tiếng xong cái con trở lại một thế giới tốt đẹp hơn rồi sư phụ dắt con đi qua một cái thế giới khác có nhiều cái hạt hạt trai gì đó không biết nữa họ bệnh thành những cái lưới đó, sư phụ đẹp lắm mà con không có diễn tả con ngu con nói không có ra cái đó được xong rồi đi một hồi cái con quên con sao con tỉnh giấc mất tiêu nhưng mà con chỉ biết là trong thời gian tháng 11 mà từ từ ngày tháng 10 sư phụ nói là mấy vị thiên đế phá vỡ cái lưới cái lưới mà thắt chặt cái địa cầu này đó rồi con thiền được thì được nhiều cái thể nghiệm rất là tốt sư phụ và con muốn chia sẻ nhưng mà con không biết nói nên con dở quá con xin lỗi sư phụ. Rồi mỗi ngày con muốn nhảy múa hát vui cười nhưng mà con không có dám. Con tưởng ta có nói con không bình thường. Ừ. Dạ giờ dạ, con xin hết sư phụ. Ok. Dạ. Nhảy múa trong nhà được, nhảy múa bên ngoài không có được. Ok, next one. 
大陆在开素食医院，呃，是用那个低脂纯素的饮食，呃，调理糖尿病，呃，七天到十天就能够基本上就可以好，呃，那么在这个呃做这个呃调理糖尿病的这个过程中间，有很多的灵感。呃，那这个灵感以前是不敢想象的，以前没有那么快，现在就发现有上帝的这个告诉我们很多，在一些方法，就让这个呃七天到十天二型糖尿病就基本上就可以好。嗯，非常感谢师傅，不客气。Somebody else here？ 观察师傅。讲。啊，关到到别。嗯嗯，呃，为什么刚刚在越南，刚刚跟我们班，刚刚买了个什么东西？thì nhiều khi có những cái món ăn mà con muốn bỏ một chút rượu vào trong cái nước no. sốt no. con không có bỏ thế nhưng mà bởi vì rằng là có về Việt Nam con có gặp một cái món đồ để nấu súp nó hơi giống cái 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 vị của đồ thật thế cho nên là con mới muốn rằng là nếu như mà con muốn khử cái mùi tanh của nó đi thì con phải bỏ rượu hoặc gừng thế nhưng mà con chưa kiếm được cái gì để thay thế rượu trước đây thì con nấu ở châu Âu thì con nấu ở thụy điển thì là con không có cần cần phải dùng rượu ok ok hiểu rồi hiểu rồi bỏ gừng thì được rồi có cái mùi tanh nhưng mà nhiều người họ thích thì đâu có sao vâng vâng mấy người họ mới ăn chay á mấy người tanh họ không có không có không có sợ còn người nào sợ thì không ăn có gì đâu có cái món hải sâm ấy sư phụ nó rất là tanh hiểu rồi hiểu rồi đó nhiều người họ thích ok vâng cái đó có bỏ rượu vô cảm ơn sư phụ sư phụ nhìn họ 我能够证明师傅您是上帝。在哪里呀、啊？我是大陆的。站站起来看看啊！好好 ，OK OK， 看到了。我能够证明师傅您是上帝，因为上帝他跟我说话的时候，有时候就变成师傅的样子。嗯。因为上帝他是无形无相的，他不会变成什么人的样子，嗯、唯独他只会变成师傅您的样子。嗯。我也能够证明和您作对的人，他是魔王的部下，因为呃，我有的时候打坐的时候看见。有的女的外面很漂亮，里面的灵魂是一只狐狸。嗯，但是我看的多了，我能够证明这些。对，是是是这样。然后那个我以前养了一只猫，呃，那只猫它有神通，嗯、呃，它现在可能已经不在了。但是呃，在我和它分开以后，每次我损失钱财之前，然后都会梦见这只猫来找我。嗯，然后我想把这只猫的这个神通的这个力量。还有这个法力送给师傅您，怎么能够？啊，我希望师傅您啊，如果有什么损失之前，会有一只猫呃、啊、来找您。啊，有了，那常常猫来找了，以前呢，现在也没有。嗯，啊，谢谢你，好意的。嗯，谢谢你啊。嗯，有时候看。是对的，有时候看起来外面漂亮，不过里面就是真的是狐狸的，是传世的。有时候是，啊、呃，全是成人的呢，懂不懂？因为他修炼很久了，是真的是这样。那些故事，我们认为都是神话故事，是真的。我有碰到几个，是吧？我还有，我还有事情想要提醒您。你要小心那些否定力量的人，他把那个宇宙上的否定力量带到地球上来，然后转变成战争之类的。是知道了，知道，早就知道了。谢谢。我还跟他，还跟他，啊，有时候也要作战了，有时候又跟他谈了，啊，不容易了，因为因为以前嘛，我们人类被控制太厉害嘛。然后，如果那个人呢、啊，被控制的人不想做坏啊，那些坏的力量也来鼓励他，而是把他变成坏人。所以呢，那些坏的力量啊，那个业障还是存在在我们在地球上的，所以不这么快处理完了。OK， 还有吗？蛮有意思，你的小猫很有意思，谢谢他。<笑>你跟他说谢谢他。真的，以前呢、啊，小猫就是当然有神通啊，猫啊、狗啊、鸟啊，什么动物都比我们神通多了，就是我们看不出来而已。所以有时候我的狗啊，它它帮我挡一些那个否定的那个
道见什么的，所以他生病了。所以有时候药医不了，我自己还是用自己那个力量帮助他。嗯，每次哈，如果我要走，我要离开那个地方啊。好久以前啊，当我还不能跟原始那个宇宙那个神的沟通啊，还不能的时候哈。啊，有时候会了，就是天使也告诉我，或是树木啊，警告我这样子。啊，会有猫来哦，啊，猫来我就知道我快要搬走了。<笑>每次都一样，<笑>每次要搬走。哎，如果不搬走，就会有出事情。反正还是要走就对了，反正不想留就对了。嗯，啊，谢谢你的猫哈，哎，你神通自己留着用。<笑>谢谢你啦，我我谢谢你啊啊，你比我需要吧啊？<笑>说，师傅你好，我想给大家呃分享好消息。嗯嗯，就是我这次在台湾那个海关出关的时候，被移民局给请去了。<笑>然后移民,移民局怎么弄？移民署，他就说我多次往返，啊、就是说问我为什么就是多次、啊、为什么来往那么人嘛，多次。对对对、啊。然后，然后那个就是、嗯、在那里的时候，我就是呃，因为时间长了，我不知道该怎么办，我就求内在的师傅，师傅就指引我，就是当时我说的话，我觉得都不是我自己说的，是内内在说出来的，就是、嗯、我就告告诉他，我说我就是来。呃，西服道场看师傅，看青海师傅的，然后他说我们这就是完全自由的，去看青海师傅是好事啊。<笑>他说，<笑><笑>他说你们以后直接就说是来西服道场的。我说，呀，我说太感谢你们了，啊、我我可感谢他了，我还当上给他一个师傅加持的堂。这样子，<笑><笑>哇哦！我当时因为我在求里面的师傅，我说他把我都请来了十几分钟了，我怎么出去啊？我说我说师傅当时就很快的就让我就说出了那那段话，嗯，然后、哦、了解，我就说我很开心，这位很自由，对对对这位很自由，台湾政府非常好，对对。然后那个呃包呃他当他知道我们是来看青海师傅的，说没事有事就常来。我说没问题，我经常来。<笑><笑>好，谢谢他了，谢谢他。以后再看到他们就谢谢他们。帮忙你们那么庆祝顺利哈！对对对，这边真很自由的 ，OK。是的，这边这边很多宗教啊，嗯、那个连土地公也<笑>那个被崇拜很厉害。对对对，这样子我们大陆同学再来的话，<笑>就可以名正言顺的来了。OK， <笑>感恩师傅的恩典。哎、谢谢。我没做什么，几十年以来都没做什么，我们也不想做什么，才这样。<笑>懂不懂也没有反对谁、啊，我们就是自己修行啊，反对自己而已，是吗？<笑>我们反省啊，啊，面对自己啊，看看自己好坏，自己每天就这样检讨啊，然后打坐啊，进步而已，没有没做什么，嗯，台湾政府是很自由的，真的很民主的 ，OK， 真的帮助人民的，不不会麻烦谁。OK， 不过我们要守法律就好了，懂不懂？啊，比方说不该带的就不要带，哈，啊，啊，那，嗯，啊，不该做就不要做 ，OK， 就是没事了，没问题，啊、我们都听师傅的，嗯、啊，还有吗？师傅，我今天多说一点啊，谢谢师傅的恩典。<笑>对<不起><笑>因为这两天我在这待两个月，感受很多，师傅给的爱是满满的加持，就是我我想说一个体验，就是。嗯，我觉得这是师傅给的恩典。嗯。嗯、呃，就是从嗯这个月开始，就是从十月二十八号开始。嗯。我就一直能看，就是不是在打坐当中，就是随时随地也能看见，在我们的道场，嗯、师傅嗯就是能开了很多的，就是合一之门。嗯，这个这个合一之门让我感受特别特别的深刻，就是很大的爱力。嗯嗯，在二十八号那天呢，就是师傅在台上开示的时候，我看到就是一个就是就就像耶稣时代那个救赎的大的十字，然后上帝就告诉我说，这是拯救人类的大，就是这个救赎的十字，所有的人都会从这里离开。我当时就看到所有的很多的灵魂都都在被那个大狮子救赎的吸引过去，那种光光芒四射。嗯
，啊，然后后来就看到了就是不同的合一之门，在我们陕西西西安呢，也就法门寺有一个合一塔。呃，最开始出现的就是像合一塔一样的合一之门，后来又出现了不同的，就是我这几天看到了就是五个不同层次的合一之门，就是昨天的时候看到的是最璀璨的，就是师傅设计的用灵魂看的合一之门，我才真正懂了师傅为什么说用灵魂看，因为我以前一直不太懂这个事儿，我这次真正的知道了，我深深的感谢师傅，谢谢你。哎，不客气。说好。Yes， 说。说二十多年了，真能见到您，当面跟你说一声，太谢谢你了。你是不是要先哭完再说了？<笑>让别人先讲，然后后来你讲好不好？啊，不是，是这样，啊、师傅，我是在二十多年前，嗯、啊，你帮我救了。我以前是吸毒，吸了好五六年，戒了好几次戒不掉。当我在最后绝望的时候，突然看到你的书，我当时就想：哎，看来这个师傅看来是个有智慧的人，要不他怎么这么这样了解吸毒的人？我当时就想，这次如果戒戒毒戒不了，死掉算了。对不起父母，对不起家人。后面，当时我就想，师傅，你要能帮我戒掉这个毒，我就拜您为师。嗯。哎，那天晚上奇迹就出现，整个一个晚上，师傅带我遨游宇宙。当时戒毒那几天，已经难受的我，已经半个月没法睡觉，不能休息。但那一个晚上，我第二天早晨。当有人开门，家里看到我有了笑容了。我这几年来就没有笑容。他们一看，哎，这个人怎么会笑了？很奇怪。我从那以后，我我才相信我是师傅。看来是真正的。哦，那么久才相信哈、嗯。啊，谢谢你的，<笑>终于了、啊。今天又这么能如愿跟师傅这样面对，太荣幸了。之后我，我师傅我又做了九年多的。在我们那边的联络人工作，但是现在的政府真的很宽容。也让你来，谢谢政府了。<笑>哎，他们能理解我们。再了解。哎，我们也跟他讲，我们也不是做暗地里阴谋诡计搞什么政府，没有那种想法。嗯。哎，我们去就是相信师傅，去看看师傅。哎。他。太好了。<笑>哎，真的确实，我一直跟他们沟通，哎、跟他们讲。感谢他们。去年我来过两次了。太好了。嗯。但是是十八年没见过师傅。今天这次来，第一天来，第二、第三天连着，这这次是第三次见师傅，啊，太高兴了。你说你你你第一次来见你，你说你老了，师傅你在我们心中，你真的是永远年轻漂亮的上师，谢谢，永远不老。看电视回家。太好了，太好了，太高兴，你太好了，谢谢师傅。不客气，谢谢政府哈，你回来记得买一些什么。台湾的土产给他们一些 ，OK， 不是的，买为了感恩的一点点东西啊。台湾的土产啊，不要太贵重，他们不敢拿。那饼干、糖果什么啦，台湾的 ，OK。所以你看，那么多大陆人来，那么多越南人来啊，都没有障碍啊。应该感谢他们政府啊。呀，亲爱的师傅。啊。其实真是好感恩你的，救了我。不客气，老人，你不要跪，等等等，老了坐下来。我不老，我,我没老。<笑><笑> OK， 我喜欢。是的，是的，我,我喜欢那种我真的不老。OK， 可惜了，师傅、嗯，你是天上天下最美丽的师傅，我们好爱戴你。啊，谢谢。<笑>从我九日年一心以来，我一面就。看中了师傅，我一心一意跟着师傅。每次看到师傅在那个电视台上，为了众生，为了地球，为了我们弟子们，受了那么多的苦，我的心真是受的苦。不会啦，哎，应该高兴。现在是高兴了，师傅。Okay, 好。看见地球在师傅的大力量、大爱你底下，救过来了徒弟。我们不管怎么样，我有自信了，师傅。
不管我怎么样，我心是跟着师傅的。好，心也是师傅的，死也是师傅的。我爬也爬到师傅的身边去。Okay, <笑>我对你骄傲了。<笑>我没有体验，活着怎么样？只要我的心不变。有了，有体验了，你就看不到。哎，我这个没体验的人，我就雄心壮志，<笑><笑>是真的。就是你的信心，活在师傅的信心。我真正的想渴望师傅内在的力量，我在屋里跟着师傅忏悔。现在这个机会我难得，我当面向。我没事了，没事了。那个时候说错了。好，没事没事。说多了。好了好了。把我真正那个时候一直做下去，就飞了，就那种感感觉，我好渴望再拿回来，我就拿不到。我用各种方法，我也打坐、打禅、背观，各种用功的努力的都用了，还是。不能帮助我自己，我求师傅。啊，你现在打坐好不好？好，现在谢谢师傅，爱，帮帮我。打坐了，嗯。现在打坐专心一点，不要跪呀、啊，坐坐的坐跟打坐一样哈，专心一点哈 ，OK。Next， anybody else？ 还有吗 ？No 啊 ，OK。Good. Then go eat. Let I let me also go eat my breakfast. Ah,、uh, lunch. I mean breakfast, lunch, dinner. <laughs> I love you guys. Be good. Thank you. How are you? I need. I need. Love you. Thank you. Thank you, all of you. Thank you, all of you, for being good、uh, practitioners. That helps a lot. That helps the world a lot. And if you help the world, me, you're helping me. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Ah,、uh, I think you can eat here. Do you have your cup with you? No. Where is it? Okay, then you go get your cup and you can eat here because、uh, down there I think it's all finished. <laughs> it's for you, huh? Yeah. I'm checking. Wow. Yeah. Wow. 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 Wow.
the metal uh, cup has a has a handle, right? So all you do is just hang it here like like this, no? <laughs> and you can eat anywhere, anytime. So where do you put it then? In your in your tent? My God! <laughs> then you have to go all the way to the tent and get it. Oh, you don't, have, huh? You don't have to do that next time, okay? Thank you. Bye.